But let's begin with the background to the story and it's set in Iceland in 2010, how Thor Dudson became an FBI informant and was participating in a sting operation against Julian Assange until our first guest got in the way. Iwindor, can you tell us when you were interior minister, what happened? What was your role in this story? Particularly how you came to understand that Thor Dudson and Sabu, the leader of the anonymous offshoot Lulsec, were, were both FBI informants and were plotting a sting against Assange. Yes, I was uh, Minister of Interior, as you said, uh, in the government that was in power in Iceland in from 2009 until 2013. Now, in the summer of 2011, we got a word from uh, American uh, authorities through Icelandic police and the Icelandic Foreign Office that uh, the American intelligence had uh, obtained information that Icelandic uh, institutions, key institutions, might be under imminent computer attack. Uh, we, of course, were alarmed and contacted all the major uh, institutions that uh, we could think were under such a threat, the Icelandic energy uh, or power, uh, power industry and then, then government institutions. Now, uh, this was in June 2011. Uh, the American uh, police, the FBI and the, and the prosecutor of, of, of New York police, uh, they asked if we were interested uh, to share information and to cooperate on the investigation of this matter. Of course, we were interested to receive all information they might uh, have on, on such a serious uh, uh, matter. So uh, at the beginning of July this year, 2011, uh, we issued a letter rogatory opening for uh, such cooperation. Now, uh, it turned out later that the, uh, that the Americans, the FBI and the New York uh, State Prosecutor interpreted this or wanted to use this as a green light to enter, East, uh, to enter Iceland uh, for completely different uh, uh, purposes. And this is what happened in August that year. A plane load of FBI agents, between seven and nine of them, landed at Reykjavik airport, proceeded to the, this was on the tw in, the, in the evening of 24th of August, in the, in the following morning, they proceeded to the office of the, the Icelandic state prosecutor uh, and started uh, having a discussion with, with, with them when I received word of their coming to Iceland. And I, of course, wanted to know what was their mission, what was the, the purpose of their visit. And then I learned uh, what really was happening. And what was that? Well, they were in Iceland to try to frame WikiLeaks and Julian Assange in particular. Now, these are serious allegations, but I choose my words very, very carefully because I knew this from first hand from within the Icelandic administration. They were told that the, the idea was to use Sigurður, an Icelandic citizen, Sigurður Ingi Thorðarsson, as an entrapment to contact Julian Assange and involve him in a, in a, a criminal case to be used later in the, in the United States. This I know for certain, and I have stated this time and again, in February 2014, before uh, 2013, I say, before uh, the Icelandic Foreign Affairs Committee in the Icelandic Parliament, where this was discussed. And, uh, this, in fact, is, is not a disputed, uh, is not disputed. This is what happened. The FBI came to Iceland to frame uh, Julian Assange. That was, that was the purpose uh, of the visit. When I knew this, I said that this was not in accordance to the letter rocketry we issued at the beginning of July, early in December and they had no permission or, uh, uh, to stay on in Iceland. 
And when I heard that they were on the way to the uh, Icelandic police headquarters for a meeting on the matter, I stopped this immediately and said there would be no, should be no further cooperation with this, uh, with this mission. And they were made to understand that they were not wanted in Iceland as policemen. They were welcome to uh, look at our waterfalls and uh, our cases and the sites, but for police work, they could not stay on. Uh, and what happened next was that uh, I heard uh, a couple of days later uh, that uh, they were still in Iceland. And then we made it clear to the, U uh, to the US embassy that, uh, that uh, they were not wanted here and they left the country. This is what happened. This is the background. Now, um, were you surprised when you read in Stunden magazine that Thorsson was, who at the time was an FBI informant, was lying about the whole thing that he told the FBI about Julian Assange having con uh, conducted hacking operations through him and that he was in fact uh, hacking rather than just get receiving information as a journalist. Were you surprised by these revelations? No, I was not surprised. Nothing in this case surprises me at all. Because as I see it, I, I've always seen this as a conspiracy. This was a conspiracy directed against us, the Icelandic authorities. They were trying, the American police authorities were trying to get our complicity, to get us uh, take part in uh, cooperating on a case against Julian Assange. Now, uh, when was it? Uh, two years, a couple of years ago, uh, uh, Pompeo, Mike Com uh, Pompeo, he said at the time, the foreign secretary of the United States, former head of the CIA, of course, he said uh, WikiLeaks is a, a non-governmental intelligence operation, which must be taken down. It was a priority to take WikiLeaks down. Now, that was not a new policy. I experienced the attempt to execute that policy in Iceland in 2011 to, to get us complicit in that conspiracy. That was the purpose of the visit of the FBI to Iceland in 2011. So uh, because you knew that this was a sting operation, uh, it, you probably thought all along that Thordidson was making up these allegations against Assange. Is that right? At the time, there were suggestions made to me that I should have a meeting with Sigurd Thorason. I, I didn't want to do that. Uh, I knew nothing of that person at all. All I was interested in was the visit of the FBI to Iceland. And if they had permits, they claimed to, they were operating along. That was my only interest at the matter. Uh, if you had asked me, and people certainly did ask me, uh, where I cited in the, in the matter, I would have said, I, of course, cite with WikiLeaks. I, I cite with WikiLeaks. I take a stand with WikiLeaks, not, uh, uh, not the American uh, authorities. I take sides with the whistleblower, not with those who try to break the whistle. Okay, so you never met Thordidson, but you knew of his, about him back then. Yes, yes. And I knew, you see, that they were going to interview him. And, and uh, what the police told me at the time was that uh, they were, they saw their uh, part in the matter only as protecting an Icelandic citizen. I said, I am protecting Icelandic interests. I am, I am the Minister of Interior and I am, I am uh, concerned with things being done according to uh, the rule of law. And you don't need the FBI's help to protect Icelandic citizens as Interior Minister.